How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, episode four is finally here with this Kansas City Royals franchise. If you guys want to continue to see the series and you're psyched about it, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know what you guys think about the series, what we should do in the next episode. You know, give, give me your feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Just because I'm not responding to your comments, it doesn't mean I'm not reading them. I usually read every single comment, so I'm definitely I'm getting your input. I'm hearing what you guys have to say. So go ahead, leave a comment. So last episode, I had a couple questions. Should we bring up or should we keep Salvador Perez in the majors? Most of you guys voted yes. It was a big margin yes compared to no. The other thing we talked about was Roselle Herrera. Should we trade him? And you guys voted yes. And I kind of agree we should we should probably trade him. So you know what we're going to do? I got to find him first. Just kidding. I already made the trade. JT Riddle is joining us here basically i just swapped jt riddle for um roselle herrera you guys can see it at the top there um no no funny business or anything um i forgot i, I forgot i did it just to make it really quick so that trade is done and uh, i kind of wanted to show you some of our prospects see how they're doing after one month of play nikki lopez not hitting the ball too well in double a which is kind of concerning you know he's 24 already 65 overall i would kind of hope he's hitting closer to 300 than he is 200 but that's not necessary that's not the case right now jason dominguez that free agent signing that we made a potential hitting the ball very well 324 four homers 15 rbis definitely killing it in double a ball nick prado's doing all right as well a uh, b potential first baseman you know he's 20 61 overall looks like he's doing quite well and then the can the catcher spot, which we have a surplus of catchers with B potential that look like they're gonna be promising. We got Mabry's Valoria, who's hitting very well. Um, he looks more as like a defensive catcher, but he's still doing quite well with the bat. And we also have MJ Melendez, who again is more of a defensive catcher, and he's actually not doing too well with the bat. And he's higher than Valoria, so maybe Melendez is a player we look to trade um, for a prospect in the future. We have Valoria. We have Salvi, we have Maldonado, we have uh, Gallagher in AAA. So we have a surplus of catchers that we may need to look to maybe find different prospects. Speaking of AAA, we do have Yolbert Sanchez, the shortstop we signed in free agency, hitting 316 as our leadoff hitter for the Storm Chasers. And he looks like he's doing quite well. You know, his hitting stats aren't that great, but he seems to be doing well in that leadoff spot. Frank Schwindel is doing quite well 64 overall 268 on the year so far 18 ribbies and six homers cam gallagher 309 average um not really impressive with his stats but we'll have to see how much he grows and the poll for today this is the question i want to ask you guys i'm most likely gonna have a question every single day to ask you in a video the poll for today brett phillips do we bring him up to the majors you know he's an a potential outfielder he's 66 overall he's a lefty bat good fielder maybe he's our future alex gordon he may not hit a crazy amount of homers and may not you know be known for his hitting but he's a very good fielder and another thing that's scaring me is his potential is going down maybe we try to get him involved try to get him more at bats see how he does in the majors and just try to grow him with us controlling rather than having him just kind of sim his way through AAA. So let me know in the poll, in the pinned comment, should we bring up Brett Phillips? So that's kind of my long winded intro for today's video. We are going to get into it. Alrighty, for our game this May, we are going to be taking on the Yankees. I figured we passed up on them last month and we got swept on a four game series. So why not, why not try them this month? We are home. Again, we're going to be playing at Kauffman Stadium. You guys can see month's been a little rough. We're sitting one game under 500. And uh, I feel like maybe facing Sevy might be a little bit of fun. We've already pitched with Keller, though. So, you know what? We'll just play the first game. We are going to be home. See how things go in this matchup. So, we are going to be home. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll rock those unis. And let's let's hop into it. Let's hop into it. Alrighty, Yankees Royals here at Kauffman Stadium, and our you know our lineup has been a bit in a bit of a slump. You know the Yankees are 28 and 22 on the year. Um, like I've mentioned, we are one game under 500, 
but I've lo I looked at the lineup and it's looking like some of you know some of our players are in a little bit of a slump. Um, Solaire being one of them. Dozier apparently hasn't been hitting lefties well. We do have Jorge Lopez on the mound. Nine starts, a two and four record with a six three eight ERA, a one point eight WHIP. So he's you know allowing almost two runners an inning. That's that's a lot. So we we definitely need to limit the base runners with Lopez here. And to start the game, Miguel Andujar not hitting too well on the road. Let's see if we can continue that trend going against the Yankees. All right, we're sitting 0-1 to Andujar. Let's see if we can get out of this. Ooh, yikes. I was going to say get, like, maybe get the out. Even the ball boy didn't want to catch that one. But it's a good start. 0-2 count here. See if the slider down and away gets him chasing. He does go after it. And we start the game off with the strikeout. All right. Yankees lineup for today, Andujar, Hicks, Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, Glaber Torres, Sanchez, Gregorius, Voigt, and also Tulo. So some low averages, Stanton, Tulo, even 220 for Stanton is uh, quite alarming. So maybe we found, uh, we, we come against the Yankees at a good time, you know, the bats are quiet. But at the same time, who knows? They could come alive. You know, they're due for some some hitting. So this might be the game that they, you know, they wake up, which would be bad for us. So 2-0 to Hicks. Not the best start, but we do come back, get the fastball. It's actually a slider. I lied. This time we're going with the, the fastball, and he's going to follow it off. Works it 2-2. Two and two. And Aaron Hicks goes down looking two straight strikeouts for Jorge Lopez. And the first is going swimmingly. Alrighty, even though he's hitting 220, it's still pretty scary to come up against Judge here at any point. To the right fielder here. I Oh man, that should have been a home run. A fastball down the middle. Aaron Judge isn't going to miss that. But somehow, Jorge Lopez blows it by him. And we have strike three. Three strikeouts to start the game. Let's see if we can get our bats going. On the mound for the Yankees, James Paxton, 2-5 and five on the year, 6 ERA, and a 1.38 whip. You know, he's kind of in a slump, not looking too strong. So, like I said, maybe maybe we have found the, uh, the Yankees at the right time. 265 average for Billy Hamilton. Leads the team with 19 stolen bases. So, we'll see if we can get him on, maybe get number 20 today. And that is going to squeeze through the left side of the infield. And we have ourselves a leadoff single for Billy Hamilton. Swinging on the first pitch. And it might be a time for us to get stolen base number 20. It looks like, was it a cutter? Yeah, it was cutter. Swung a little early. Somehow out of the reach of the third baseman. All right. I mean, it made, it way, it made its way into the outfield. We got the speed on first now. Alrighty, so this is how we're lining up today. We got Billy, Mondesi, Merrifield, O'Hearn, Duda, Owings, Dozier, Perez, and Gordon. Uh, you know, you can see O'Hearn's uh, average isn't doing too well. Whit Merrifield, though, our leader in home runs, I would assume an average as well with 370. He is having an amazing season this year. He's looking like he's our, he's kind of our all-star for sure. And that is definitely getting down. Witt is going to take a fastball right down the middle into the gap in left center. And if he's going to get back to second, he does a, two, a sink. Bleh, don't know what I'm saying. A one out RBI double gets his 15th RBI. No, 15th double of the season. He has what, 38 RBIs now? And off the bat, Billy Hamilton knew that was getting... That was dropping. That was going to be a run. There was no way Billy Hamilton's taking off if he's unsure about it. So right away, we have the lead. Good squared up on that fastball. Perfect way to start the game here in the first. And Duda goes down swinging. But you know what? That's all right. Whit Merrifield puts the Royals up first. Center. 
A quick one, two, three inning after Gary Sanchez flies out to right. And the Yankees so far have been pretty quiet. Let's see if we can get another run or two here, you know, heading into the bottom of the second. Salvador Perez is going to be the third out. A pretty quick inning here. And uh, it was, what, a ground out, a strikeout, and then another ground out. So this inning, not the best. And um, excuse me, I want to know where that pitch missed. I understand I threw three straight balls, but uh, on what planet was ball four a ball? You see that? That entire ball is in the strike zone. How about blue? Get your eyes checked, all right? I was going to say something a little meaner, but, you know, I got to I gotta keep it PG for the families. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're sitting one, two count. Too low up to the plate. I'm getting worried now that I have to throw it down the middle to get a strike, which is going to cause some serious problems because one of these Yankees is going to crush it. A little bit of a bobble there by Duda at first, but that's all right. He picks it up, steps on it, steps on the bag, and we get out of the inning. So the walk doesn't come back to haunt us. And heading into the bottom of the third, we should have the last batter and then the top of the order. The one two. Alex Gordon hits into the shift. A bobble by Glaber. 25 speed, and he beats it out. Labor Torres lets him eat. Let's, you know, what was that? A short hop, line drive, grounder type situation. He lets it eat him up. Shouldn't be happening there. So, a little bit of a, a little bit of a tricky situation. You know, we got Billy Hamilton up now. Man on first, no outs. Billy Hamilton, is that gonna drop? It is. It is not. Aaron Hicks is gonna make the sliding play in center. That ball just hung up a little bit too much. Witt's going to hit it to the shortstop. He's going to throw it to second. He's going to go, 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 go. Get to third. Didi Gregorius makes the error. We got first and third with two outs. Two errors this inning by the Yankee middle infielder. Such a simple toss over to second. Took his time. Seemed to rush the throw in the end. And now we got first and third with you know, man, it's, you know, guy in scoring position, two outs, might send Witt to second. It is going to be a curve down the middle, but that's all right. Two men in scoring position, not too bad. Probably could have done like a little hit and run there, but let's take a pitch. Let's make the, let's make the pitcher sweat a little bit. See what we can do. And, oh, couldn't sneak it past the first baseman. Great snag over there at first by Voigt. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty. Apparently, the Yankees have three errors. I don't, I can't remember what happened. What was the first error? Not too sure, but couldn't take advantage of the two errors that inning. Just barely missed a hit. You know, like O'Hearn's rocket down the first baseline. Duda, okay, he smothers it, keeps it in front of him. You know, that's what you're supposed to do when you field. And, uh, all right, gets the out. I'll take it. I mean, he's keeping it in front of him. That's two times now he's bobbled it, but that's all right. We definitely are doing, you know, a little bit better than they are defensively. Aaron Judge hits it to center, probably just missed that fastball. And you know what? Two up, two down, solid inning so far. It is only a one-run game, though. And against the Yankees, that's, that's not good enough. You know? You might see a change of game plan right here from the pitcher and catcher. They have to find a way to get these guys off that early count. Lucas Duda goes deep, hanging curveball right down the middle, sits back on it, and Duda with the no doubter. Oh, baby, that was beautiful. Two to nothing to your Kansas City Royals, and the big first baseman delivers 108.9 miles per hour. 
off the bat, what an absolute bomb that was. Dead center as well. He crushes it. New immediate. That was a rocket. That was smoked, obliterated, annihilated, whatever you want to call it. He crushed it. Absolute bomb. Woo! Dozier takes it off the shoulder. Okay, James Paxton's getting a little, little flustered maybe. So we got 74 speed on first. Not necessarily the best base stealer, but it is speed, which is good. We got Salvi up, who does hit lefties a little bit better. And oh, oh boy, did Salvador Perez just go deep. He does. And James Paxton is getting rocked by these Royals. Four nothing 413 feet to center 101 off the bat and the man you decided to keep in the majors has shown you guys why he should be our starting catcher absolutely crushes it destroyed that ball two home runs this inning look oh baby what an absolute bomb and james paxton is having a rough time right now here's the left fielder alex gordon Alex Gordon beats it out. I was actually staying quiet because I was kind of worried he was going to get thrown out, you know. Yeah, there, you know, too low had to range quite a bit, but 25 speed isn't that much. And it was actually a lot closer than it probably should have been. But that's all right. We do have Alex Gordon on for the second time today. Let's see if Billy Hamilton can keep this inning going, you know. He's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And he'll lay out to make a spin. Wait, wait, wait. Since when did Aaron Judge become a gold glove outfielder making diving plays? Hold on. Wait a second. Okay. I was sitting here about to move Alex Gordon to second, maybe even third. But Aaron Judge just comes flying in Superman style, making the catch. What's with the CPU making all these diving plays? Alrighty, 1 2 to Gary Sanchez. Can we get him with the curve? We do. Swinging at the curve in the dirt. Salvador Perez keeps it in front of him, tosses it over to first, and we have our first out of the fifth. Ooh, hasn't struck out anybody since what? The first inning? This, yeah, it was the first inning. This inning, he's got two. Chris Owings is going to make the play in right center field, and a 1-2-3 for Jorge Lopez. Solid outing so far. And look at, look at the mascot getting down there. Okay, all right. I mean, he's the, he's the reason we had the one to nothing lead to start the game. O'Hearn, oh, he gets a hold of one, takes it to right center field. That is going to get down. 48 speed. Judge plays it awkwardly off the wall. Can we get to third with the first baseman? There we go. He's actually our DH today. And the third triple for O'Hearn. And look at that. A solid hit there. It's looking like maybe Paxton's day is done. It is. Gives up the ball. And he's not even going to make it through five. Rough outing for the lefty. The former Mariner. All right. So, hey. That actually helps us out. Chad Green's going to come in. Maybe that actually doesn't help us out. You know, a really solid ERA over 14 games. I don't know. Maybe... Paxton staying in was the best situation for us. Can the right fielder deliver 0 for 2 on the day? One more run would be nice. And I don't think that's going to get down. Judge is jogging to it. Pretty routine compared to his diving play earlier in the game. So not able to take advantage of that triple by O'Hearn. But that's all right. We still do have that four-run cushion. Let's see if we can keep that shutout going. L Lucas Duda keeping everything in front of him. Go big man showing off. He's an athlete. Not only can he deliver on offense, he can deliver on defense. 
making the diving stop. Okay. Hunter Dozier rips it up the middle. We got 74 speed on first. Solid start to the inning. Lead off runner on. Here we go. Okay. And it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Billy Hamilton to second is hit a little bit too hard. He's not going to beat out the throw. And we aren't going to take advantage of that leadoff runner. Nice little play by Torres. Quick release to get the out at first. But you know what? We still hold the lead. So even though it was a nice play, I feel like I'd rather have the lead than just a nice little flashy play at second. All right, one-two count here. This could be Lopez's last pitch. High fastball gets him swinging. Andujar goes. Oh, no, that's not Andujar. That's Glaber Torres. Torres goes down. And a seven-inning shutout for Lopez. That's probably the end of it for him. Ooh, Torres is way behind that fastball. Just blew it right by him. Mondesi's up here. 0 for 3 on the day. I feel like we just can't get Mondesi going. I mean, swinging at that, probably not going to do that. But, you know, it's not going to get the back going. But we shall see. There we go. That's a, There's a base knock. Could be. Oh, that's trouble. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. Poor route taken by Stanton and left. And that is going to be a leadoff triple for our shortstop. Mondesi getting his first on the year. And bottom seven. What a way to start it. Just taking the pitch, the outside pitch. He's, he just went with it. It was outside. He took it that way. Stanton took a poor route to the ball. And Mondesi didn't even hesitate. He was going three all the way. And a leadoff triple. Ooh. There we go. We got Witt up now. One for three on the day with a ribby. Into the box. Witt Merrifield. And she'll get caught reaching on a first pitch slider for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that should get the run home for sure. 95 speed. Hicks with like the super lazy throw in. Five to nothing. Witt gets the job done with the sack fly. That's, that's just what you got to do with the ball. Got to hit it deep in the outfield. 95 speed unless it was, who knows. Who, I don't even think anybody could have thrown Mondesi out from that spot. And we're sitting pretty right now. O'Hearn's up. Alrighty, Lopez is pretty dead, so I mean, we're we're testing, we're you know we're testing it with him. Slider down in the zone, and there is the no hitter over. Got greedy with it. 31 speed. This this is most likely a double, but I was gonna say maybe it could be a triple, but we got greedy with it. The no hitter is done. Gary Sanchez breaks it up in the eighth, and uh, that's that. You know, Jorge Lopez is done. They got Didi up. We're going to bring in Jake Diekman. See if he can, you know, hold on to this lead. A little bit of a rough year for him. A 4 ERA. We're also going to warm up our closer in Boxberger. See if we can get the out here. Good start. Sinker down in the zone. A little, little too high for my liking, but it's all right. Gets the strike. Just missed on the slider. Slider. Low and away gets him looking. And a strikeout for Didi there. All right. Keep it going with Diekman. A fly out to left field. Aaron, Aaron, Alex Gordon is going to come in. Make the catch. Okay. Two outs. Two quick outs there. It is rough. He like it starts so wide to his right. And Dozier's going to rip it up the middle. He does that all the time. That's like his bread and butter. Just right up the middle. Right up the middle. Right up the middle. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. Like, it's a base hit. Gets a base runner on. He's got a little bit of speed. And Gordon goes down on strikes. Heading into the ninth. Five run lead. We're probably going to leave Diekman in. No reason to bring in our closer unless some runs score but a quick first out here a one pitch fly to center away from a victory against the New York Yankees Witt 
backhands it, tosses it over to first in time. And that's the ball game. Five to nothing to your Kansas City Royals. What a game. Strike first. We struck early with that Whit Merrifield double. Then we had those two homers from Lucas Duda and also Salvador Perez. And then to top it off, Whit Merrifield with the sack fly getting Mondesi in off of Mondesi's triple. A phenomenal pitching performance from Jorge Lopez. And games are going great that we're playing. You know, we're 500 on the season. And that's a good performance by the Royals. You know, one hit allowed throughout the entire game. That's awesome. I love to see that. The good pitching performances continue. And uh, that's that's the game, guys. I, I love this. So let's finish up the month and see how this Royals team performs in the month of May. Alrighty, so to finish out the month of May, let's see how things go. We win the series against the Yankees and the Rangers, unless we lose the next two. We lost the series against the White Sox, but overall, we'll take a quick look at the lineup, see how things are going. Billy Hamilton, 265. If he can finish the year at 270, 280, I'm gonna be happy with it. Mondesi, He's going up slowly, not hitting the best, but you know, things will come. Whit Merrifield is 100% our star right now. He is killing it. Lucas Duda, he's doing okay. You know, I definitely want to see that average go up. But home runs wise, he's doing quite well. O'Hearn, the bat needs to pick up. You know, obviously he struggles versus lefties, but we need to see a little bit better. Salvador Perez is 265. Like, if I can see a 270, 280 from him. We should be good. Dozier, same situation, 270, 280. Gordon, he's not, he's never really been known for the bat. He's in decreasing very quickly. So uh, he's going to be a player that's probably done after this season. Um, Chris Owings, 250. I, I, I kind of need a little bit more from him. He's kind of, he's on the trading block currently. He's one of those players that is, um, just because I'd rather have Soler or Brett Phillips uh, playing for us. Um, we have Soler who's hitting 200. So, like I said, you know, we have other options. I would like to get involved. 138 for Maldonado. And JT Riddle's hitting 169. So, we could definitely use a bat. That may be something we look out for. Pitching wise, you know, the ERAs are a little high. Danny Duffy's doing quite well. Um, he's looking like our best pitcher so far. Um, in terms of the bullpen, we do have a couple decent arms. It's looking like our long relievers are doing quite well. Um, the middle, middle relief's looking a little rough besides Jake Diekman. Austin Bryce is looking like a phenomenal pickup uh, in that setup role. And Brad Boxberger is not, not doing too bad at all in the closing role. So that's going to end it up. End it. Guys, we are one game above 500 currently sitting. Uh, one game out in the central. You know, we're, you know, just we're not too far off. We're definitely doing, you know, we're holding our own here in the central. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Royals franchise. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. Also, the poll down below. Go and vote. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.